Oh, hello everyone. Welcome to the Economox Garage. Come on in. Well, as I'm filming this, it's the last week of October 2022 and we've been blessed with some fairly warm weather at least for the next few days so while it is still warm i'm going to get a little bit of painting done um, i have the uh, the mister vents i've got the heater air intake I've got the brackets for the radiator supports holders for the top bows the headlight buckets will need to be touched up there's quite a bit of the dark blue overspray on there so these will get a Everything will get a really good cleanup. Um, I have new wiring for the headlight buckets. I'll put that in at the same time. So all of this stuff will get a good cleanup and a fresh coat of paint before it gets uh, too cold. Well, the first uh, bucket has cleaned up fairly well. Not overly concerned with a little bit of surface rust. I'm using uh, Tremclad rust paint uh, to do these, so that'll cover that up. And the back is mostly dirty. Um, the other part, there's a little bit more rust than I would like to just paint over. So I'm going to hit this with some rust converter. And once that's dry, some uh, primer and then the finished color. Well, after some sanding and cleaning and uh, painting, here's the bits for one of the headlight buckets. I've cleaned the aiming screws, cleaned the spring up. Um, I have new wiring for the headlight part of the harness. Uh, that all came uh, from my order from AutoSparks. Uh, and I'll put a link to their store in the description below. For paint I'm just using a semi-gloss black from uh, Tremclad. So for this part of the headlight assembly I just use the same silver paint that I used for the wheels. It's not exactly um, as per stock but I'm not too worried about that. So let's get this all put back together. So there we have the headlight bucket back together with the new pigtails for the wiring and that'll hook up nicely to the new harness and I think that looks a lot nicer. No, no more dark blue overspray. Another item that'll need uh, painting, are uh, these are the demister vents and they too have some uh, blue overspray on them. So I'm going to clean these up as best I can and get a coat of semi-gloss paint on there. What I'm using is Tremclad's rust paint. Uh, semi-gloss black and it seems to be a nice uh, it gives a nice finish to all of this stuff now, I know these won't be seen uh, in the finished product 
So it's just nice to know you, you know clean up any rust that's on there and plus I'll eliminate that dark blue overspray. Well here we have all the bits and pieces cleaned up that I intended to get cleaned up this week. I've got the headlight buckets done for both sides with new wiring harness in, springs all cleaned up, screws all cleaned up. Uh, radiator brackets for the left hand side of the car and the right hand side the def mister vents uh, these mount up underneath the dash and they had overspray um, up in here from the dark blue paint job when I took things apart I bagged and labeled uh, which pieces go where and these have all been cleaned up for the these are the radiator brace to fender bolts so they go in and these two spots on this side and these two spots on that side and here's the red bolts themselves uh, they're a little different they've got the tapered point they'll go into these four holes here there's one two three four into the captive nuts on the radiator itself now the radiator has been refurbished um, I took it to Citywide Radiator here in Calgary. Um, I'll put a link to their shop in the description below. Uh, they do a lot of work with uh, classic cars and uh, older cars. I'm very happy with the work. They did find one split that they repaired. So the ra radiator has been pressure tested and all that. And it's good to go. And they gave it a, a fresh coat of paint. I haven't got that uh, put in yet. Just realized I don't have the hose clamps. The lower rate rad hose, it's really tough to see. It actually goes down underneath the steering rack, underneath this brace here, and then up to this spot just in here. So I'm going to put that on before I bolt everything up to give me a bit of wiggle room. The top one is a lot easier. It just goes from the radiator outlet here to the thermostat housing. I've also picked up new hose clamps, so I've got the one end of the radiator hose in and then I've just got to hook up the feed for the water heater to the takeoff here and then underneath here is where this hooks into the bottom of the radiator. I've heard that this can be a bit of a challenge because it's kind of an awkward spot to get to but I, th I think we should be okay. What I'll do is inside the end of the hose here and around uh, the outlet on the radiator I'll just put a bit of silicone lube and that'll help things slide on. I already have the clamp in place. So I'm going to set that up so I can screw it up from the bottom because I don't think I'll be able to reach um, otherwise if it's up up this way. So anyway, we'll uh, give that a shot and see how we end up. One thing I should mention is I've run a tap through all the captive nuts on the radiator just to make it easier to put things in. Connecting the lower rad hose to the radiator, bit of a tight squeeze. I tried a silicone spray. I tried putting a little bit of grease on and none of that worked but what did finally work is as you can see I put a heat gun to warm up the end of that uh, hose, soften it up a bit, make it a little bit more flexible and that did the trick. I was able to slide the hose onto its spot on the radiator quite easily. That's a little difficult to see but I do, I do have the radiator hose on to the bottom of the radiator. It's a really awkward spot to get to, uh, but what I did is I took my heat gun and warmed up the end of the rad hose to soften it up a little bit to make it easier to slide over and work like a charm. So I'll tighten that clamp up and then I can go and get the, get the bolts in for the radiator and the braces.
Well, here we have the radiator in place and bolted in. The support brackets are in. I still have to get a couple of bolts in for here. <clears throat> I still have to get a couple of bolts in for here to hold the um, air duct um, in place properly. Uh, and I'll have to check back and see what uh, is actually out, if there's anything else that bolts to that. There's the bracket on the left hand side of the car. And I know a washer bottle, if you have one, will bolt in there. Put the radiator hose on at the top. And finally got the radiator hose hooked up at the bottom and clamped up. And it's also clamped up down in here. Uh, I still have to hook up the, the, ho the pipe that goes to the heater. Other than that, quite happy with uh, the work that I've got done. I'm glad I took the time to get these painted as the temperature has dropped quite a bit over the last couple of days. And uh, I don't think that be a good, conducive to uh, successful painting. Now the only issue I came across while putting this all back together is the captive nut on the back of the radiator was stripped. So what I did is I just used a longer quarter inch bolt and put a nut and lock washer on the back side of it. So that's uh, nice and tight and won't come loose. Well, that's a wrap for another episode. I'm glad you could join me. If you'd like to contact me directly, you can do so by emailing me at the address at the bottom of the screen. And I'll put that address in the description of this video as well. If you've enjoyed the video, please be sure to share it with your friends. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget that little bell icon. Click on that and you'll get notified when the next video comes out. My name is Ian. This is the Econobox Garage. We'll see you next time.